A movie studio executive is the person who greenlights or begins the process of making a motion picture. This executive has the responsibility to manage all of the interests of a film from script to screen. Elizabeth Gabler graduated from the University of California, Santa Barbara. Ms. Gabler began her career as a studio executive at Columbia Pictures and has gone on to serve in executive roles at United Artists, 20th Century Fox, and Fox 2000 Pictures. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Gabler, president of Fox 2000 Pictures. You're watching Made in Hollywood, and this is a scene from The Longest Ride. I just came to drop this off. Where'd you get that? From your car? I haven't been able to read these for years. You want me to read them to you? As the president of Fox 2000 Pictures, what exactly are your duties and responsibilities? Well, I run one of the divisions at 20th Century Fox Film Corporation, and we have a staff of about 16 people, and so I supervise all of them, and we acquire material from all different mediums. Basically, we buy novels, sometimes in manuscript or even outline, both fiction and nonfiction. We buy magazine articles sometimes, we buy plays sometimes. Sometimes it's just a writer, screenwriter comes in with an idea, and then what we do is we basically supervise the development of the screenplays. We hire the screenwriter, then we hopefully have something good enough to package and turn into a movie, so that requires looking for the right director, then casting the movie, and my responsibility is to basically keep tabs on everything, including budget, actual production schedules, and then as the movie's being finished, the editorial process, screening for audiences, and then helping our marketing and publicity departments as they sell the movie, and keep our fingers crossed that people go and see it. <laughs> April 10th, 1940. My dearest Ruth. I remember that dress you wore even when I've forgotten my own name. I have a feeling that you didn't always know that this was exactly what you wanted to do. I feel like maybe you just found your way into this job. Well, in a way, I mean, I was an English major in college, and I always loved reading. I learned to read when I was very young, and I think it's one of the fundamental requirements of the job that I do is to be able to read and analyze material and be able to basically follow a storyline through and it is very similar to a lot of the English papers that I wrote when I was in college because basically I'm doing notes for screenwriters and directors and trying to bring out the best storyline, make the characters as rich and dimensional as possible. So that degree in English was something that was absolutely critical for me and it's something that I really highly recommend. When a North Carolina boy meets a beautiful girl from far away, he should do everything he can to win her over. And if he does, his life will be a portrait of happiness. What advice would you have for any young aspiring filmmakers or teens who may want to have a career like yours? Well, the best advice that I can give for anybody is that there's no job that's too small to help you learn. Okay. Every little thing that you can absorb you need to do that because you basically will learn something from everyone. Even sometimes you learn from doing things wrong. And you basically just have to try as hard as you can and know that each step along the way is a greater way to reach your goal. And just set your sights on the stars. <laughs> Are there any other qualities that you think they need in order to really succeed in the industry? Well, I think it's really important to be able to be a team player. I've always fostered that in my colleagues and I think that everybody needs to know that your family, that your colleagues are your allies and that it's not about being better than other people, it's about following your heart, following your dreams, helping people and asking for their help. And, and I think that collaboration for me is one of the key, key attributes for a great colleague. I wish I could tell you it'll all be happily ever after. Not everybody gets that. You did. Wasn't that simple?